Well, Don Lemon just backed himself into a corner on live television, trying to pen reparations for slavery on Britain in an interview with a royal commentator. And then you have the, those who are asking uh, for reparations for colonialism, and they're wondering, you know, $100 billion, $24 billion here and there, $500 million there. Some people want to be paid back, and, uh, and members of the public are wondering, why are we suffering when you are, you know, you have all of this vast wealth? Those are legitimate concerns. Well, I think you're right about reparations in terms of if people want it, though, what they need to do is you always need to go back to the beginning of a supply chain. Where was the beginning of the supply chain? That was in Africa. And when that crossed the entire world, when the slavery was taking place, which was the first nation in the world that abolished sla uh, slavery? The first nation in the world to abolish it. It was started by William Wilberforce, was the British. In, in Great Britain, they abolished slavery. 2,000 naval men died on the high seas trying to stop slavery. Why? Because the African kings were rounding up their own people. They had them on cages waiting in the beaches. No one was running into Africa to get them. And I think you're totally right. If reparations need to be paid, we need to go right back to the beginning of that supply chain and say, who was rounding up their own people and having them handcuffed in cages? Absolutely. That's where they should start. And maybe, I don't know, the descendants of those families where they died at the, in the high seas trying to stop the slavery, that those families should receive something too, I think, at the same time. Wow. Bully. She bullied you, bruh. Oh, my gracious, she got you so good, man. You were just quiet as a daggone church mouse. Oh, you couldn't hear church mouse fart, man. My gracious. What the world, man? She tore them. She, she, put, you in your, she put you in your place, bruh. She put you in your place, bruh. Sorry. Man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about that. We about to go into this joint right here because we already know, man, it's outnumbered. And I am here to hear Emily Campagno and Kylie McEnany. Right. Man, she tore his tail up. Everyone who has been purchasing hoodies and hats, thank you so much. Continue if you want or just share the news with everybody else. Just share you know the video and say look i'm not buying anything but i know some people who might want to buy some stuff just make sure they put in lfr 10 for 10 percent off and free shipping all across america and if you want to be um ready for any situation in the world go to bluemonsterprep.com okay and put in lfr for anything that you purchase and if you purchase more than a hundred dollars worth of things um you will get a whole bunch of free stuff i'm mean, that's all i'm told gina and patrick told me to tell y'all that okay Nah, but we about to check this joint out right here because I think that John, um, Don, Le Don Lemon just now got the business by this young lady and uh, he was not, um, she was not having it. She, she was like, you ain't gonna blame us and try to say that we should give anybody any type of reparations. Matter of fact, if you want to go back to the source, then maybe your people, the Africans, they should get back reparations, huh? 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 What you think about that? Trying to stop the slavery that those families should receive something too, I think, at the same time. It's an interesting discussion, Hillary. Thank you very much. It ain't no interesting discussion. She killed you, bruh. I mean, well, not in the literal sense, but figuratively speaking, she killed you, bruh. She slaughtered your bacon. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> epic. Uh, that went viral, Raymond. My wow. favorite point is the interesting Hillary. We'll continue this discussion. Somehow I doubt Hillary Ford, yeah, which is going to be uh, a Don Lemon regular. What an interesting <laughs> yeah. discussion that is. Look. He didn't expect that uh, truth bomb to drop on yeah. him that, at that moment. The truth is history is complex, and the yes. people involved in the grave sin of, of, of both racism and slavery, enslavement of people, that's going on today, ladies and gentlemen, all over the world, in places like China, in parts of, of northern Korea, and, and places scattered elsewhere. We need to hear more about that, the contemporary examples of it, and not keep rooting through the annals of history and trying to dig up reparations for people in the present day. I mean, you know, I often say my people were, were making paella and crushing grapes when this happened. We weren't here. So they were, we were more enslaved than, than, you know, we weren't part of this. But when you look at what happened, it's always a broken history, but they're 
good points to it and bad points. And you've got to you've got to take the whole of history and move on. We've progressed, and now we're surrounded by our brothers and sisters, and we're all one community. That's what we should have been, but we found that. Celebrate that. Let's move on together. Yeah, history is complicated, Cheryl. It's not as simple as... They will not move on together because that's how they fight. They fight by selling fear, and, and that right there, they cannot get rid of it. If we get rid of it, we no longer have any control. We got to make sure that we continue to run this. And you know what, too? Um, the powers that pay them, the powers who are getting them to have these conversations. Um, they are constantly being beat by the little people in the, you know, that that don't see as far as the conversations that y'all are speaking right now. They don't see that far. The information that that lady just now dropped on Don Lemon, he probably never even knew about it until she dropped it on him. That's why he was kind of embarrassed and he had nothing to say. He had absolutely no retort. Don Lemon usually has a comeback for people, man. I don't know if it's a good comeback or bad comeback, but he had no comeback. He just said, oh, that's interesting. Uh, this is certainly interesting. We should have a conversation about it. No, that was your opportunity to have a conversation about it. But since you were not prepared, you ain't say sugar, honey, iced tea. You ain't want to be embarrassed. Well, by you not saying sugar, honey, iced tea, guess what? You got embarrassed, son. You got embarrassed, man. But that's the thing, though, man. There's a lot of people aren't paying attention and um, and and think that their way of thinking is the only way of thinking that we need to talk about racism. We need to talk about um, getting our 40 acres and a mule. We need to talk about reparations, all those things. And it goes up the little chain and they get tired of people that are nagging them about that same thing. So they you know what they say, how can we use this to our benefit? How can we use this as a weapon? We know that they want reparations. Let's continue to, you know, hold those strings over top of them, control them with that. And um, and we'll bring it up as much as possible in order to let them know that we're fighting a good fight. You know, we, we, want, we want to at least have it seem like we're fighting a good fight. We're not really fighting a good fight, but we want them to think we are, huh? Yeah, we got you. We got your back. You see us talking about slavery? We are holding their feet to the fire. They don't give a damn about none of that because they also already know the truth. They just like, oh, man, my boss made me talk about this, and I wasn't prepared. Now I'm looking stupid. That's all it is. That's why they all got them little dumb talking points where they say the same thing. Every single time they talk about one thing, they say the same thing. I remember one time after a school shooting, um, all we kept on hearing was AR-15, weapon of mass destruction. AR-15, weapon of mass, AR-15, weapon of AR-15. We can't, we can't have the AR-15. We're not supposed to have the AR-15, the AR-15, the AR-15, assault rifle, the AR-15, assault, 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 AR. Like everything was just come on, bro. So now that's where we are. Don Lemon got his hand, his ass handed to him. You know, reparations. Let's go. Let's move on. Um, you know, you have Henry. Sorry for that rant, guys. Louis Gates Jr., a scholar in the New York Times, writing: While we are all familiar with the role played by the United States and the European colonial powers like Britain, France, Holland, Portugal, and Spain, there's very little discussion of the role Africans themselves played. And that role, it turns out, was a considerable one, especially for the slave trading kingdoms of Western and Central Africa. Yeah. Echoed yeah. by a piece in the Wall Street Journal, University of Baltimore Law. My point is, it's a nuanced, complex issue. Yeah. Well, and her point was correct and that it was the African lords that actually enslaved those people back in history. You cannot change history, but they're trying to. By the way, CNN, Christian Amanpour, the day that the queen died, I mean, really within like an hour of her death oh, yeah. being announced. Did you hear her? I did. She wanted to talk about reparations yep. in that moment. So wow. disrespectful. So obviously someone at that network is pushing that narrative. I think Don Lemon picked up on it. I think he got caught off guard because he realized, oh, oops, she's factually correct. She is right. And by the way, the British abolished slavery way before the United States did. I think somebody was in his ear. One of the producers was in his ear like, oh, we have no comeback, bro. I mean, we we are our job is to feed you with comebacks. But she's right. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You got to get out of this one yourself. <laughs> Save yourself, Don. Save yourself. <laughs> and that's what he said. Hmm. Yeah, this is extremely interesting. Uh, we got to have a conversation about this. 
Get off my show. Why would y'all send her on my show without vetting her? Why didn't you vet the fact that she knew what she had, knew, knew what she was talking about? I don't want to be looked like no fool on this show. You keep on doing it, I'm going to come back there and I'm going to whoop somebody's ASS. Huh? That's what I'm going to do. Way before other And 2,000 naval men died on the high seas trying to stop slavery, Emily. That's right. When I love the internet is in moments like this where the reactions are just Emily like Campania. just as delicious as the original Genesis moment. Um, and I love the word wrecked spelled R-E-K-D, which was all over R-E-K-D, whatever it is, <laughs> which is all over after this um, interaction. And to that point, I thought CPAC chair Matt Schlapp had, had sort of an amusing uh, two cents thrown in, where he said, yeah, well, how about reparations to those who fought alongside former slaves to abolish American slavery? According to Lemon's logic, Democrats would need to pay reparations to Republicans. Kind of like it. I like it, too. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm not just pausing this because Emily Campagno is on the screen smiling. That's not, see, get, see, go ahead with, go ahead with that. Go ahead with that. Yeah, she is smiling. She's smiling at a brother. <laughs> She's, you know what I mean? She's smiling at a brother. Natalie, I also like this from Tucker Carlson. A fact tsunami just crested over Don Lemon, and he's desperately trying to get out. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to be the deer in headlights in the dictionary. Uh, you know, you can't cherry pick history. I know it's an inconvenient truth, like you mentioned. And also, when you really dig into something like this, reparations in the form of free money don't fix inequality. It's something that has to be addressed. But we need to invest in infrastructure, in education, in jobs. And free money is not just going to fix these problems. Hey, everyone. That's right. Free money ain't gonna fix nothing, but it will buy you some, some, some whatever things will fix your vices for the first for the next two and a half weeks, cause that's how long the free money lasts. In any event, man, what y'all thought about that? Don Lemon blew it, man. He blew it. He did not do a good job on that one. They got him good with that one, Jack. But I want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside of the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual, man. Love y'all.